This pattern is called the diving betis. Many of the betis family of mayflies, when the female spinner is ready to lay the eggs, rather than dip the water surface and release the eggs, they will use structures to crawl down and deposit their eggs well below the surface. Many an observant angler may have noticed these spinners crawling down there with their legs. Once the eggs have been deposited, the female spinner is washed away and drowns. Fish key in on those and take them readily. You can either fish this pattern in or just below the film, or well deep, closer to the bottom of the stream. The hooking device is a Camazan B175, size 14. The thread is Benecci 12 volt in black. The first material on is a starling body feather. And I tie it in right behind the eye. couple of turns and then trim the waist. Fine silver wire will form the rib. Run it along the bottom of the shank all the way to the to the bend. For the tail material a few barbs of bronze mallard, just two or three, which I pull out perpendicular, even the tips, and then tear it off. The tail length will be about the length of the body. Then trim the waist. The dub body consists of some olive, a blend of synthetic and natural fur, with a tiny amount of flash blended in. This spinner underwater glistens, hence the silver wire and a bit of flash. And then more will be added in the form of the wing momentarily. form a slightly tapered slender body then follow up with the wire rib wrap it forward in even turns and worry it off The wing on the spinner is clear antron, very fine, and not a great amount. Simply tie it in at the top, and then fold back the forward portion. Then clip on some easy pliers and wrap the hackle. Two turns and catch the tip, cut through to the front. Finish off with a three turn whip finish. waist. Now the wing length is obviously too long now. Rather than trim it square, what I like to do is just use the blade to make a slightly ragged end. Then just. And that completes 
the diving betas.